Hello there and welcome. In today's short lesson, the topic is fighting for points. Now, I'm going to show you five instructive positions, but before we get there, just some general ideas. Now, inner board points are often better than outer board points. Obviously, if your opponent is on the bar, he has fewer ways to enter if more points are made within your home board. In terms of value, the five point, the four point and the bar point are the three best points to make. Of course, like all rules in backgammon, there are exceptions depending on the position, but this is a good rule of thumb. The five, the four and the bar point on your side of the board. Heavy points require unstacking. Points that have five or more checkers on often play your checkers off those points because you want to put all your 15 checkers to use over the board and make your 15 man army really work for you. And slotting plays are often not as risky as they look and they can be very strategic in improving your position. So let's get started. Now here you can see an opening reply. Now Green has won the opening round with a 4-5 split the back checkers and played one down 13 to 8 and in return white has rolled a 2-1. Now often and almost always the correct play when your opponent steps up is to attack him. So here the right move is 13-11, 6-5. Now there are many reasons for this and this actually applies to many opening replies when your opponent tries to step up. Firstly, when our opponent splits here to our five point, he is doing so with the intention of making that point on a subsequent roll, the golden anchor. Now, we as white do not want him to make that point because by making our five point, he prevents two game plans. We are unable to blitz him and we are unable to prime him. So. Really, the value of him having the five point is to our detriment in cancelling out two game plans. So here we simply knock him off the five point and play one down to have a direct six cover, which is the best cover because then we have 17 covering rolls from the 11 point to the five point. In making the five point ourselves, of course, it's very valuable because we prevent our opponent from making it. We are also unstacking the six point with five checkers on. And anything else besides this play would be too passive. So in the early game, when our opponent only has a one point board, make these aggressive attacking plays. Even if we are hit back, we have 35 ways of entering back into Green's home board. So this opening reply shows you some of the things you should be thinking about, which we can go into more detail as this video progresses. So now it's your turn. How would you choose to play 6-1 here as white? Now the correct move here is to make the double slotting play. 13 to seven, six to five, resulting in the position you can see on the bottom right. You can see the other candidate plays on the left hand panel in the top left position. Now, why is this correct to make this play? Now the first thing, which is a topic for this uh, lesson is, to fight for the best points. So here by making this double slotting play, we are fighting for our five point and the bar point. That's two of the three best points on our side of the board. Another thing we can consider is, well, the candidate plays are pretty weak. So if we make the bar point, which is the second best play, then we are still leaving a lot of shots for green to hit us with fives there and two, three and so on. 
if we decide to play 20 to 13, then we are leaving a double shot with threes and ones and also indirects from the midpoint. And also we are losing our anchor. So here the best play, 13, 7, 6, 5. If we are hit, then we have the anchor to fall back on in Green's home board. And if we are not hit, then we can make those points on a subsequent roll. You will also see that there is duplication of fours and twos, which are good numbers for Green to make his own four point, the second best point. So here we aggressively slot two points. There is also a price to be paid. If Green does hit us back, then unless he rolls doubles, he's likely to leave a lot of return shots. He is sacrificing his anchor in hitting us. So he does come at a cost for Green to attack us back. And of course, he only has a two point board, which is weaker than our two point board with the six point and the four point made. Let's look at the next position, white to play a 2-1. Now here, the right move is to make the five point, resulting in that position, as you can see on the bottom right, and anything else is showing as an error or a blunder. Now again, this is similar to the previous position and you will notice certain themes and principles showing up across the other positions that I will show you also. Now here, by making the five point, we can see that there is very nice duplication of threes and fives. Threes and fives to hit the blot on the bar point, but also threes and fives to cover the blot in Green's home board. So, Unless green rolls one of four numbers, five, three, double five, or double three, the chances are he's going to leave us a lot of return shots. And in that case, we want to make sure we have the stronger home board. This effectively is an enticement play. By leaving the blot there, if green hits us, he could end up in a much worse position. We could hit back the blot in his home board when we enter and then he could dance or enter lower on the ace point we can make the bar so you could see how this unfolds so here we make the five point and we leave the duplicated three and five okay position four white to player three two Now, this one was a little tricky and the plays are a little close, as you can see on the left hand panel. But the correct move is to make a double slotting play six to four, six to three. So well done if you found this one. Now, the first thing to notice is we as white are 19 pips down in the race and we already have three checkers back. So we are effectively kind of losing already here. So it's important to make sure that we take risks to try to turn the game around. Now, by making the slotting play here, if we get hit, then we're not really that worse off. However, if we don't get hit, then of course we can fast make our board much stronger by slotting those points. Also, after the slotting play, the 6463, then numbers like 5 and 6 play better in being able to kind of make those points faster in board and not leading us to break our midpoint or break the 20 point anchor. So, here the alternatives just aren't really that good. By stepping up and playing to 63, well, if you're slotting the three point anyway, then you might as well slot both points. Unless green rolls a double one, he's not really gonna be able to pick up the both checkers on the three and four point. Of course, he could roll something like a one six or a two five, 
but then we could end up moving into a back game and things could turn in our favor that way. Simply when behind, find ways to win. If you play something safe here, then you are playing too passively. Always look at strategic ways to make points within your board, trying to counter prime green, trying to make things awkward for your opponent. And finally, position five, white to play a four, three. So here the correct move is to make the five point playing nine to five, eight to five. Again, we can see as in similar positions that green has a blot in board. We can take advantage of that. And also here we are enticing green off the anchor. Again, we are forcing him to break an anchor if he chooses to hit us with a two. So unless green were to roll a double two, he's going to leave a lot of return shots and we are going to have the stronger board with a six, five, four formation made, the rack. So here we are effectively freezing green's checker on our bar point and giving him a difficult choice if he were to roll a two. So we make the point we leave the blot in front of Green's stripped anchor and then we wait to see what happens. And again, we have the safety of the anchor already in Green's home board. Now here, you might automatically play something like 2013, seeing the extra checker there on the 20 points, seeing that the mid is stripped, but we need to take advantage here. Again, we are 19 pips down in the race. We need to make something happen. We need to entice Green off the anchor. Hopefully he will choose to hit us, leave blots everywhere. He has a blotting board. We hit him back and then we move into a position where we have a favorite and probably will have a cube decision You know, if he enters low or dances. So always find ways to win. So. There we are. Thank you for watching. A lot of information. Please go back and have a look over those five positions. Try to pull out some of the themes. Look for heavy points I need on stacking. Look at points that require slotting. Look at your opponent's position. Does he have blots in board? Does he have stripped points? Think about duplicated numbers. Think about the race, are you behind? Should you be taking risks to turn the game in your favor? Lots of things to think about. Backgammon certainly isn't easy. Um, I hope you got something uh, out of that video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate uh, your uh, support on my channel. See you next Wednesday. Take care, bye-bye.